Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And today we are going to discuss some secrets of the moon sign. Many times people feel that the moon sign is not discussed these days because most of the times we discuss everything from the Lagna, the rising sign, which is very important. But that does not mean that the moon sign is not having its importance. So we will see what this moon sign is and what are some of the clues that it can give us about an individual and why is it so very important, even more important than the ascendant to check the moon sign. The ascendant is also important. I'll tell you how to differentiate. All right, so as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your moon sign or any other sign or any other planet or any other area of your life, then you can always go to the description section of my videos to book a reading with me through my website. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So what is moon sign? Well, what is the moon? <laughs> if you don't know what is the moon, then you will not understand what is moon sign. And you also have to know what is cancer and where cancer is in your chart. So what is moon? So let's first understand the sun. Sun represents the kingdom. Kingdom means I have certain things in my life. I am the ruler. I am the king. I am the owner. I am the author, proprietor. Of certain things in my life you know, it can be maybe this earphone you know, or maybe this mobile it can be anything or I may own this big house right so ownership is seen through the planet Sun and Sun is not only the ownership Sun represents the concept of being the very fact that we feel that we are somebody that that itself is the Sun and Jupiter is the soul. The soul comes into the body. And then we have Mars, who is the body. But then what is the moon? The moon is the mind. What is the mind? The mind is like, see, moon is like the wife of the sun. Sun and moon are king and queen, respectively. What does this mean? This means that whatever, see, what does a queen do? Queen basically adds value to the king. It means that the queen gives a feeling to the son that yes, you are the king. <laughs> you own something. You are somebody. So that means moon represents those things in our life which give us a sense of worthiness. Moon is that which tells us to what extent do we feel that it is worth owning these things. Or in other words, it is worth living in this world. So therefore, the moon is the most important planet because ultimately, whatever you have in this world doesn't matter. If you are not happy, if you don't feel that you have enough so if people have a difficult moon then one of the biggest 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 indicators is not a moon in scorpio is not a moon with saturn rahu or ketu it's not a moon not a moon in the eighth house what is the biggest indicator of a difficult moon how do you know that your moon is well placed irrespective of astrology how do you know that well, it's very simple. It's very easy to know. <laughs> and the trick is, you have to see how much happy you are in life. That's all. End of the story. Video over. <laughs> now, you may say that, oh, but now my life is not good. Terrible things are happening in my life. Somebody has died, I have been robbed, I lost my job, I have I've been divorced or whatever. Some, something terrible is happening in my life. How can I be happy? So 
so i am not talking of that kind of happiness which comes automatically superficially when everything is fine when everything is fine everybody can be happy at least for some time <laughs> but the material nature is not like that the material nature as krishna says in the gita na manashasthani indriyani prakriti sthani karshati the the living being is working very hard 24 by 7 to fulfill his material desires which are like never ending desires so what kind of happiness do we see from the moon that happiness which we see when everything is fine in our life is more from mercury and venus what's mercury mercury is money finances communication contacts connections this is all mercury venus all the pleasures of life so therefore most of the times we mistake the moon to be either of mercury venus so therefore when i say that moon represents happiness it represents that happiness which you have inside of yourself irrespective of the surroundings that is the moon so now ask yourself this question that do you does your happiness increase or decrease depending on the externals well of course for everybody the answer is yes and to the to the extent your answer is yes to that degree your moon is damaged in the chart and to the extent that answer is no to that degree your moon is well placed which means if your moon is well placed your externals cannot affect your conception of being that is why if moon is very badly placed in somebody's chart or if moon is uh, very badly afflicted and if the dasha of the eighth house becomes active person gets suicidal thoughts why now many times people think that suicide is related to something external which means uh, there's some terrible calamity in the person's life because of which he or she doesn't feel uh, that it's worth living anymore life becomes so burdensome why does it happen no that's not the reason the reason is for getting suicidal thoughts is not that some other bad thing is happening with you the main reason is your conception of being happy in this world is coming from the exterior world which can disappoint you any time any moment just think about your life what are the things that can go wrong tomorrow is there any end to that if you are having a job you may be fired tomorrow if you are having a business if you have a factory your factory may catch some fire or you may go into any kind of scandal or anything can happen somebody can come and seduce your spouse <laughs> kaliyuga anything can happen these days so the thing is to the degree we let the externals control us or our mind to that degree we will become more and more helpless so then what to do we should redraw our consciousness within and go deep down inside and realize that we are not this body we are spirit soul because krishna says in the gita brahma bhuta prasanna atma na so chati na kankshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhakti mlavate param brahma bhuta prasanna atma na so chati na kankshati so chati kankshati hankering and lamentation one who is free from these two qualities brahma bhuta prasanna atma he is prasanna he is happy he is situated at brahma bhuta at the spiritual level sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim lavate pranam that is the time when your spiritual progress starts not it ends it starts so therefore spiritual progress without mind control is simply an illusion should i repeat spiritual progress without controlling the mind is simply an illusion therefore the mind the moon is very important and what is the moon sign <clears throat> moon sign represents those things which affect the mind the most which means anything which goes wrong or good 
in context to the moon sign the zodiac sign where your moon is placed that can influence your conception of being in this world uh, in an abnormal degree i would say so therefore it is highly essential that you look at your moon sign and the moon sign is very important also because it will decide how you view everything in this world <clears throat> imagine you are sitting in a place you are the lagna you are basically the body good things are coming bad things are coming forget it some some things are coming to you but how do you receive those things are you happy when you get things or are you like oh this is not what i wanted to what extent can you be satisfied in life that's what is the moon sign so therefore if moon is place is is well placed in any sign so where is moon well placed moon is very well placed in the sign of taurus because it is exalted there moon is exalted in taurus and in scorpio it is debilitated why in the universe is moon debilitated in scorpio because whenever moon is in scorpio depending on the other placements of the chart so this is not an absolute statement all right there are millions of people who have moon in scorpio but they are not like this if the other placements are also very weak or they are not very good then if moon is in scorpio what i have seen with these people is that no matter what is there in their life externally which is the sun they are always fearful that it will be taken away from me why because scorpio is the sign of fear scorpio is that that sign which tells you you are going to lose something so what happens when you are constantly under a threat that you will lose something imagine you are um, staying with somebody imagine your partner your husband or your wife has uh, similar placements imagine and then imagine uh, you are going out and you know one friend calls you some member of the opposite sex and then you talk and then your partner is very suspicious why is my husband or my wife talking with this boy or girl what's going on maybe they are having an affair why why is the person thinking like that because the moon sign is in scorpio so scorpio is the sign of fear so whenever there is a fearful situation the person feels that oh my god there's something terrible in my life and similarly i have seen you know people who have a moon in libra for example i have seen them if moon is in libra i have always 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 seen this almost 100% of the times they will always make decisions in life which will uh, regarding those decisions they themselves will think again in future oh was my decision correct why because libra is the sign of negotiation wherever there is libra in your chart you will have to let go of certain things because what is negotiation negotiation means two parties come and sit in a table and then both of them leave the table with some level of dissatisfaction okay i will leave this you leave that and then let's take this i take this and you take that because nobody nobody can get 100% in libra it it always has to be 50 50 or 40 60 60 40 so therefore if moon is in libra you will see that they are always obsessed about seeing if i can do this and in libra what happens because of vishaka nakshatra there is always a tendency in the person to be in two two boats the person feels that i can do this and get that also but that's the challenge that's the fun that doesn't happen eventually you will be forced to uh, go and get inside one boat all right so the moon sign is very important the ascendant gives you the external things ascendant the 10th house from the ascendant can give you name and fame but 
from your moon sign you can see how much are you able to enjoy that how much happy are you to get that name and fame there are many people who after becoming famous they later on go and commit suicide why is that because externally they are getting this name and fame but internally they are not able to digest that they are finding something else from the moon sign and from the moon sign from the moon's nakshatra the dasha system starts bimsho three dasha starts if your moon is in purva falguni nakshatra when you were born which means your chandra rashi is purva falguni your dasha will be venus mahadasha so your life will start from venus mahadasha can you just imagine how important the moon is yes the moon is very 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 important and therefore the other thing i would like to share here is we we should not only check our moon sign we should also check the fourth house and the planets that are sitting in the sign of cancer yes that is a very big uh you could call it a secret but nobody sees this so next time you look at a chart please look at the sign of cancer why wherever cancer is falling just just have a look at there because the moon is the dispositor of that planet imagine you have mercury in cancer then what happens is mercury's dispositor dispositor is the lord of the sign where the planet is sitting so mercury's dispositor is the moon so that means now imagine you are somebody but in your house somebody is sitting somewhere so that will affect you right definitely if you know that your friend is sitting in your home then you are very happy you are relaxed you are calm you are cool you are composed because you know my friend will do good to my house maybe he will do some cleaning or he will do some cooking and when i go i will eat or at least he will not destroy it or he may protect it when other enemies are coming so therefore having the natural friends of uh, the moon especially jupiter is very beneficial in cancer and jupiter also gets exalted in cancer all right and mars the exception mars although he's a friend but he gets debilitated there but still he protects that house because that's the house of his friend he is not happy there but he still protects it so therefore we have to understand that the sign of cancer is also very important and the fourth house do not miss the fourth house the fourth house is very important because moon is the karaka for the fourth house the fourth house can tell you i had made a video on the fourth house you can please go and watch it how how do you accept things in life fourth house is that uh, it's like the net you know anything which comes in your life how 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 do you accept it like let me give you an example here from the mahabharat one of my favorite characters you know <laughs> let's talk of uh, duryodhan here <laughs> so one day he was very sad you know he was very morose as usual so he was sitting there with his uncle shakuni and with his brother dushasan and his friend karna and then shakuni asked him my dear duryodhan oh future king samrat <laughs> why are you so unhappy can you please tell us and when was this instance this instance was after the pandavas had been exiled to the forest after that which means now indraprast was with duryodhan everything was with duryodhan duryodhan had ruined the life of the pandavas apparently so he should have been very happy right now he was never happy so then what happened shakuni asked that my dear why are you so sad now you have kicked away and thrown the pandavas out of hastinapur you have insulted dropadi you have insulted yudhishthir you have insulted bhim you have insulted arjun 
you have insulted nakul you have insulted sade when you have humiliated them you have ripped them apart of all of their wealth and name fame prestige power reputation and you have thrown them so what is that which is giving you sorrow now and can you just imagine what duryodhan replies duryodhan replies that the only reason why i am unhappy is because now i cannot see the pandavas unhappy should i repeat the only reason i am unhappy is because i am unable to see the unhappiness of the pandavas because now they are not here so this crooked personality his anger and his envy envy like that you know envy a snake have you seen snakes even if you just go and will tap they will just hit you so this crooked person his envy was so bad that he not only wanted to throw out the pandavas of the kingdom but he also wanted to enjoy by seeing that they are miserable and now he can't do that why because they are in the forest and he is miserable in this kingdom of hastinapur he is the emperor he is almost like the emperor because his so called father dhritarashtra is uh, is just like a toy in the hands of duryodhan and shakuni all right and then shakuni had uh, suggested him that all right no problem i have a solution for you all right so what is that solution go and have a picnic in the place where the pandavas are resting all right and then later on Duryodhan had a fight with the Gandharvas because he had tried to enjoy with one of the ladies, one of the lady Gandharvas, and the then later on when the Gandharvas came to know, they attacked him because he had violated the chastity of this lady. He did not violate; he tried to violate. But later on, Yudhishthir Maharaj told Arjun and Bhim that go and save him. <laughs> Yudhishthir Maharaj said. whenever there is an internal conflict that is fine but when some outsider is attacking our cousin it's like attacking us only because now we are not 5 and they are not 100 we are 105 all right and everybody all duryodhan's uh, duryodhan and company you know all the crooks they fled away when the gandharvas attacked including all of his close associates but later on duryodhan was saved by the grace of Arjun and Bhim. Arjun and Bhim alone, single-handedly, dual-handedly, <laughs> they killed all. They didn't kill actually. They defeated all the Gandharvas, and Yudhishthir Maharaj came and spared <laughs> his life. So that's the example of Duryodhan. Vicious snakes. I mean, even it's like you can't compare his envy and his hatred for somebody. All right, so. he exemplifies this concept of the moon sign whatever you have you are never happy anybody who thinks that if i get this i will become happy just think of this person duryodhan and on the other hand we have personalities like yudhishthir maharaj who were, who was always happy always cheerful always joyful always respectful always kind always truthful irrespective of what he had or what he lost that is why he is dharm raj yudhishthir there is nobody like him there can be nobody and there should be also <laughs> nobody in fact I, i wish everybody would be like him but unfortunately that's not possible and that will call you guides most absurd to think of somebody like that all right so let's learn let us try to be happy irrespective of the externals and then we shall see the happiness which this planet moon has to give us all right thank you very much for your patience and if you want a consultation from me then please go to my website down in the description section and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you shall find him and yes please subscribe to the channel thank you very much